is the camcorder. It records in 2.7K and the quality is awesome. Up here you have zoom in, zoom out. This button right here. You take pictures. This button right here, you press record. Under here, you have the USB to plug into your laptop. And you also have the HDMI to plug into your laptop. So if you have a HDMI cable, you can plug it to the camera and plug it to the laptop or TV. If you have a, um, well, you're going to need a, it comes with a USB um, USB cable for you to plug into the port and charge it up and also transfer video files. Open it up. You have the power button on the top. You have the power button on the top. You have up and down right here. You got mode and menu right here. And I believe if you click this, if you click this, then it's going to activate. Uh, yeah, it's going to activate. infrared I don't know why it's coming out like a flashlight it's infrared making everything black and white you take it off and you can't tell from my phone recording but the camera is very clear. On the bottom, there's a port for you to mount this to, and this flies into the tripod. You can get a tripod. There's a little groove right here for you to, um, there's like a, cam a camera hood or camcorder hood where you kind of like, you know, it kind of screws in here, like into these grooves, kind of screws in. And you also have this, which is annoying sometimes, but basically this goes it, like, you screw it on like you would with that hood, and it basically protects your film. Oh, now you want to do it. You have the handle, and when you take this off, well, you're not going to have it on when you first get it, but under here, so this remote works about 20% of the time. A lot of times you have to hit the power button before it even works. This is normal bay mode. Hi Amber. This is night mode. Although it works pretty well considering it's almost daylight outside. Zoom. The remote is deciding to not work, so Benjamin, my buddy. Back to day mode, and I had to use the power button on the inside of the camera.
So I have uh, an aftermarket stand and uh, this is the only camera I've ever had that wobbles on these things. Every other camera I've had is very solid and tight, steady, whatever you want to call it. This one wobbles like it's about to fall off. It has nothing to do with the stand. Um, this is actually what I do with my video cameras. I do guitar videos and home repair videos. And Alright, I decided to try this out. I just bought this cheap little camcorder. It's supposed to have night vision on it. It has a built-in IR light for it, so let's see what happens here. Very short range on that. You can't hardly see more than, what, five feet in front of me, maybe? Now I have an external light source for IR. I'll turn that on. Big difference. Big difference. And this external... This is a great little device. It, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, you have to mess around with the mode and the menu to make sure you get that 2.7K quality. Uh, but it does it extremely well. It's very versatile, um, very handy. I like it. I really do love it. Highly recommend it for whatever use you might need it for. Belly rock, huh? Let me get that belly. Yeah.